Hello there, John here. In this video, I thought we could take a quick look at canoe trolleys, or at least how I use mine. Trolleys can be super handy, but they have their limitations. They take up lots of space in your boat or car, and on rougher terrain, they're more bother than they're worth. But if you need to go any distance on a reasonably smooth path, they do make life so much easier. There's a bit of a knack to using them, so let's start with getting the boat on the trolley. Now with this little boat, I can just lift it on. But if your boat is heavy or you're tired, I find the easiest way is to set the trolley so the wheels are pointing either side of one end of the boat, at about halfway along the length of the canoe. Then lift the other end of the boat and pivot it into position. It takes a wee bit of practice getting angles and distances right, but if the boat isn't exactly where you want it, you can lift the boat a little in the middle and kick the trolley into place with your feet. Most of the time, I use my trolley without strapping down. When I'm doing this, I like to have the trolley so it's just a shade ahead of the middle of the boat. Pulling the boat is just going to pull it off the trolley, so I'm going to push from the back. With the trolley a little ahead of the middle, if I hit a lump in the track, I can lower the back end a little bit, which reduces the chance of the boat slipping off. Don't get too far forward though. The advantage of a trolley is that you don't have to lift much weight, so you want to try to keep things reasonably balanced. Kit-wise, I throw all my heavy stuff into the middle of the boat directly over the trolley to keep things balanced and reduce the chances of deforming the middle of the boat. Depending on the condition of the path, this method is fine for a good few hundred metres. But if you've got further to go, the ground is uneven, or sloped to the side, or you might meet traffic, it's far better to strap the boat down. When strapping down, I always angle my straps and wrap them around something solid in the boat so it can't slide forwards or backwards. You can simply run a strap from one side of the trolley forward around a thwart and back to the other side with the same at the other end. But it's worth being aware, these are my normal roof rack straps and they aren't long enough to double over and crank down. Even with longer straps that you can crank down, with this method, if the boat tips enough to fall over, I find the trolley can shift from side to side a little. So my favourite method is to use four straps, one at each corner of the trolley, up around a thwart or seat, and back down. Four straps don't take much longer to set up than two, and they really lock the trolley and boat together. So if you have a catastrophic tipping event, all you have to do is flip the boat back onto its wheels and you're good to go. When strapped down, I prefer to have the trolley right in the middle of the boat. That way I can throw a small bag forward or back to choose which end drops to the floor. Strapping down opens up the option to pull as well as push the boat, and I generally prefer the end I'm working with to be the slightly heavier end. That way, if I let go, the handle drops within easy reach, rather than flipping up and having to reach up and around the boat to grab it. With the boat strapped down like this, I'll pretty much go any distance with it, and apart from the funny looks you get from people driving past, it's not a problem. One final thing, if there's a steep hill, it's safest to carry your boat. But if you must pull a boat up a steep hill, especially on a road where there might be other traffic, consider tying a long sling to the boat and looping it over one shoulder and under the opposite arm. That way, if you lose your grip, you don't end up with a runaway boat. So that's how I use my trolley. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.